we have a source and we have a target. The first thing we need to understand is that from the source, the data has to be populated for an initial load. Because when we start the first time, obviously the data over here and the data over here may not be in sync or maybe there is no data in here. Now there are standard database methods through which you can take a backup, restore it here so that you can avoid the initial load. But otherwise, if you want to make use of a golden gate methodology to perform the initial load, golden gate also has one. Now we will go into details about how we can do an initial load later on. But understand an initial load is a must before we can continuously change capture. Assuming an initial load is already in place, what we would have to do now is configure an extract process which will read through the transaction logs and create a trail. A trail is a file that extract creates after reading the sources transaction logs or read logs. Now the extract process is configured to write it to a particular destination. Now here we are talking about a local trail where this trail is within the source machine itself. Assuming we have the network in between the source and the target, we could also optionally configure the extract to write to a remote trail directly. So the extract might write a trail file locally or it might write it to an extract remote trail. Now in order to process this, because when the extract is sending the data, on the target side, a process called as a collector gets initiated. So the collector will receive this file and write the remote trail. Now let's take the first case where a local trail is being written to. Then we can initiate a process called as pump whose responsibility is to publish the data to a remote trail. Again, to receive the pump information, a collector process would have been started on the target machine. So there are two ways we have seen in which the trail information from the source can be written to the target. The first option is where a local trail is created and then a pump is used to write it to the remote trail on the target machine or we can configure the extract to directly write a remote trail on the target host. So these are the two ways in which you can capture the change and push it across to the target. The next one is on the remote host when we want to process the trail we will create a replicate process which can read from this trail or from this trail depending on which one you want to use and publish the data into the target database machine. So based on the schema mappings and other things which will all be specified in parameters for the extract or replicate, the data that was in the trail can get populated into the target.